Hi developers, my name is Ashraf Ben Alaya. Today we are going to see how to deploy or host a Next.js application in other uh, static websites. We are going to build an application, push it to GitHub, and we are going to see how uh, the GitHub actions are going to trigger an action to build and deploy the application to Azure. So let's go and start building our application. So do not waste a lot of time uh, during the creation of the project. I already created an application here using the command npx create slash uh, next dash uh, app. So first, um, let's start this application using npm start. Okay. Uh, let me just okay. Let me just run the application using the command uh, npm run uh, dev. Okay. Let's go here to check our uh, application. Cool. Here we have our application uh, works. Uh, fine, welcome to Next.js. We can uh, do some modification on the application. We can uh, open the application using uh, Visual Studio Code here. Here we have our project. Cool. So, here we have our index.js. Welcome to Next.js. So, to our demo, uh, you can see it changed it here. Welcome to our demo XGS. So, if we go back to uh, Microsoft documentation, here uh, it says uh, that when we build an XGS site using run uh, uh, npm build, this app is uh, built as a traditional web app, so it's not static site. To generate a static website, we need to do some uh, modification. First, we need to add uh, this file here. So, you can use your favorite editor. Here, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. And let me copy paste this here. I think this export trailing slash is changed right now. We will see it later. And we have to edit our package JSON by modifying the build here. And this is our package JSON. And inside the build, we are going to add next build, next report, and we are going to save. Cool. You can stop running the application here. Okay, now we can run uh, npm run build. Okay, but before that, I'm going to git in your and command this and command this. So this file can be pushed later. Okay, let me go to the terminal and run npm run build. Here we are running our project inside our laptop, our machine. Okay, while this, uh, while um, this, I think it's finished. You can see that we have a uh, .next uh, folder have been created inside in that folder we have our static website. Cool. Now I think we can uh, run the application. Let me just uh, npm start again. Cool. And welcome to our demo Next.js. Great, here we have our application ready. Now we are going to create our repository. 
here we are going to create an xgs uh, repo so xgs demo youtube and it's going to be public and i'm going to create the repository here cool now all we have to do is to push our uh, repo here so we already have initialized this project all we have to do now is to publish it okay so we can start by git add dash a we are going to commit the changes git uh, commit first commit now we are uh, going to push to the master and we need to add our origin and we are going to push our project to the master branch we wait this to be finished cool if we refresh here we should see our project great here we have our project inside our github repo great now we need to set up or to create a static web application inside azure so here i have been testing a couple of applications react and blazor now let's start uh, creating a new one static web it's still under preview but it works fine so it's inside this resource group I'm gonna call it um, the same as this it's not the best practice but here we are going uh, through a demo here we are going to um, build a trust connection between um, Azure and GitHub cool now we choose our organization and we are going to choose our repo master now we don't see here um, next GS framework we only see VGS or react um, we don't see next GS so we choose custom here and here we don't have an API and inside artifact I don't think we should put um, anything oh we should put out yes um, let's go back here to our uh, project when we have created the project you can see that an out file have been created for the static web application so we should add uh, out So here, out. Mm, we don't have don't have an API, but we should keep it like that. Cool. Now, when we are going to create this um, GitHub Actions, it's going to create a YAML file for us uh, that will detect the repo and uh, start building our application. So this is the static web application now if you go to actions we can see that a continuous integration had started so here as you can see it's building uh, our project it's the first build we should wait a couple of seconds or maybe minutes i should pause the video while uh, this continue but i should tell, uh, tell you first that you can use um, azure for 12 uh, months a whole year you can use all the services for free Azure uh, 12 months free you can go here um, 
you can create start creating your account for free and you can build um, virtual machines websites uh, you can use AI you can build uh, different kind of services you can use SQL database um, Cosmos DB Azure functions remember that you have 1 million uh, request per month for free we are going to see this we are going to build a blazor application uh, that consume a static blazor application that use um, an API and this API is going to be built using Azure functions um, you can use Kubernetes servers and a lot of other um, useful and great services so start today from here okay so here I think almost finished our deployment so if you go back we go back to uh, okay I think yes it's finished here if we refresh here you can see that we have deployed our next JS application if we go back to our code we can see that a new file have been created here by github and azure it's a yaml file that contains the configuration of the job that's going to build and deploy our project now to edit our project all we have to do is um, first let me pull our uh, project So let me um, let me stop this here. Okay. Now we are going to pull the changes. It's one time. Now let's go to our next GS and here we'll go to our demo. And let me maybe before this or after it H three. H2. Let me close this. Um, let me write my website. .com. Let me push this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to push this and now let's go back to uh, here. Okay, 16 seconds ago I have edited uh, this page. We should see that there is, yes, there is a new build that have been started right here. It's if you have worked um, uh, before with um, Azure DevOps. Uh, it's like here you you configure it, uh, continuous integration, uh, a pipeline for continuous integration and a pipeline for uh, uh, deployment. But here it's already configured by uh, GitHub Actions and Azure. It's already configured. You don't have to do anything for a static website. All you have to do is to write your code, push it and it will be uh, deployed, built and deployed uh, to Azure. So mm, let's wait a couple of seconds for this to be finished. As you can see here, the build have been finished. Uh, the build is finished now. It's uh, finished with um, success. If we go and refresh our page. Okay, you can see here what we have changed and all we done is edited uh, editing our code and pushing it to uh, our repo you don't have to do anything else thanks to uh, github actions and azure static websites so this was uh, the demo for the next yes next we are going to do the same thing for uh, angular and we are going to do it for blazor too um, yes for blazor and next we are for blazor with an api so that was all for today thank you for uh, watching the video do not forget to click on subscribe 
and if you have any question you can send me an email or maybe post it on uh, YouTube and I will try to reply as soon as possible. Thank you.